To the parents, friends, and relatives of the graduates, welcome. To the teachers, administrators, and school committee, thank you. And to my fellow graduates, congratulations. We have waited four years for this day to come. We have struggled together through the endless exams, homework, and lectures, and we have smiled and laughed together through the sporting events, homecoming, and of course, Olympic foolery. Everyone on the stage has gotten here through hard work, determination, and possibly a few all-nighters. For that, we should all be immensely proud. Over the past few weeks, I've been reflecting upon the four years we have spent at Leicester High and the events that have taken place on the global stage. While most of our lives these four years have been dominated by schoolwork, we would have been the epitome of ignorance if we had not recognized some of the historic occurrences that have shaped our country and the world into what they are and what they will be tomorrow. On January 20th, 2009, history was made on the steps of the United States Capitol building as Senator Barack Obama was sworn in as our nation's 44th president, making him the first African American to hold the office. In April of 2009, the H1N1 virus, better known as the swine flu, paralyzed the people of North America with fear that they would be the next to contract the virus. In January of 2010, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake devastated Port-au-Prince, Haiti, leaving nearly 200,000 dead and thousands more homeless. Only three months later, an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico exploded dumping nearly 81 million gallons of oil into the pristine Gulf. In August of the same year, President Obama announced his withdrawal of troops in Iraq, thus ending the seven-year-long Operation Iraqi Freedom. And of course, who could forget April 29, 2011? Yes, it was the day of our junior prom, but the rest of the world remembers it as one of the most important days of 2011, the Royal Wedding of Prince William of Wales to Catherine Middleton. However, only three days later, the White House would make a shocking statement that would forever change the war in the Middle East. On May 2nd, 2011, the Obama administration announced that Osama bin Laden was dead. This prompted thousands of television specials and newspaper articles, but most notably, an overwhelming number of Facebook statuses. 2012 has already witnessed the anniversary of the Titanic's tragic sinking on April 14, 1912, as well as Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee, which marks 60 years since her coronation. This year is also poised to play host to such events as the Summer Olympics in London, as well as the landing of a space rover on Mars. As we begin the next phase of our lives, it is important to understand that everyone in this world is connected. Gone is the year where the day-to-day -day happenings of countries such as England, France, and the United States have no effect on other parts of the world. With the invention of the internet, email, texting, and social media sites, nothing happens in any other country that is not known within minutes by people all over the world. Consider some of the events that I've listed. Not one of them has not had an impact on the entire globe. For example, the earthquake in Haiti devastated not only the city of Port-au-Prince, but it also devastated the planet economically and emotionally. Its effects have been felt as far away from Haiti as our neighboring town of Rutland, where a local resident named Brittany Dangle lost her life in the earthquake while on a mission in Haiti to help local orphans. The BP oil spill in the Gulf dealt a crushing blow to the world economy as the price of oil skyrocketed. On a local level, residents of Leicester and its surrounding towns have been forced to pay more for gas and to abandon the BP stations that have now been forced to close down. These are just a few examples of events that, while seemingly isolated to their respective areas of the world, have changed the lives of those all over the planet. From this point forward, everything you do will be in support of the global society that we live in. You answer not to your town, or your state, or even your country, but rather to everyone else who contributes to this international society. You will succeed as others succeed, and fail as others fail. Everyone is tied together, and you will be expected to contribute to the global community. Many of you will have the opportunity to study abroad in college for a semester. To receive an education through the eyes of those from other parts of the world will be invaluable to the development of your careers, and thus your contribution to society. I recently attended a commencement ceremony at Boston University. 
The commencement speaker was a man by the name of Mark Morial, who is the former mayor of New Orleans and is the current CEO of the National Urban League. One of the most profound points that he made in his speech was the idea of society and how it is constantly changing. Very little has remained constant through the last 18 years of our lives, and even less will remain constant in the next 18 years. It will be up to us to use the strengths and talents that we've amassed in high school and will amass through the next four years to adapt to the ever-changing world in which we live. Now everyone on this stage will be leaving here as a graduate of Leicester High School. However, I would like to issue you an additional challenge. I challenge you to not merely leave here as high school alumni, but rather to leave here as leaders. I challenge you to go out into the world, not as people who are willing to do as instructed, but as people who would rather instruct. I challenge you to contribute to our global society, not merely as passive bystanders, but as individuals who pave the way for others in your respective fields. Now, as you're all beginning to take your first steps as Leicester High School alumni and make your way out into the world, I would like to once again congratulate you all on your accomplishments. While we have all chosen different paths in high school, we have all arrived at this one moment in time. This is the last time that many of us will see each other. I wish each and every one of you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Your lives will be what you make of them, and it is up to you to follow through with your passions and desires. You only have one life, and you can do with it what you please. I know everyone on the stage is capable of greatness, but it is up to you to get there. To quote Kenny Chesney, when your hourglass runs out of sand, you can't flip it over and start again. Take every breath God gives you for what it's worth. Thank you.